everyone and welcome back to this your favorite channel um hello all guys hi welcome back to my channel i am funny in case you don't know that i feel like i don't ever address address that but i am funny i'm funny lorena that's my first and middle name that's hence the name of my channel and today i just want to say a couple things before we get started on this video first i'm very excited to be filming again um i want to say that i'm going to try to put out a lot more videos this year instead of just one every like 10 months and i would like for you to be here for that if you are you know enjoying my videos so far and you would like to see how far i go and how i evolve as a beautiful little channel <laughs> um then you're more than welcome to subscribe you know where the subscribe button is i'm not even going to tell you um you can also like this video if you enjoy me or my content and anything like that thank you i appreciate you being here and today i'm very excited because we are going to be talking talking about the new but weirdly enough, on sale, um, Urban Decay Troublemaker eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. I think it looks backwards for you guys. I'm not exactly sure. I guess because, you know, the phone and whatnot. Um, yeah, but we're going to be doing a first impression slash tutorial slash look slash swatches slash demo of this makeup thing. And I just want to say we're also going to be testing the Troublemaker mascara because there's like a little deluxe version that comes in this... Um, eyeshadow packet whenever you buy it it comes with it okay so when I purchased this I purchased it at Ulta and it was $24 regular price I believe is like 32 but I got it for 24 however if I'm not mistaken it is currently on sale for $19 on Ulta Nordstrom and I believe Sephora I'm gonna double check on that and let you guys know exactly um, if it is yet if it's even still available because i don't know why this is going on sale for so much even though it kind of just came out like i remember i, had, I saw nicole concilio's video about it not a, too long ago and i'm like how is it on sale already like is it not doing good i don't know i guess we'll find that out today i'm gonna do um the swatches for you guys right now and then all that stuff and then i'm gonna do my face basically my face makeup my base makeup and then i'm gonna come back and do an eyeshadow look with you guys just because i always do my face makeup before i do my eyeshadow and i don't feel like changing that today because i don't don't like that so this is what the packaging looks like it's really cool i've actually fun fact about myself um relevant to this actual review um I've only tried the eyeshadow palettes from Urban Decay, the Naked ones. I used to own the Naked 2, and that's pretty much the only palette I've tried from them, and I didn't really like that one. Um, I know, then why did I get it? I don't know, okay? I didn't know anything about makeup back in the day, I just know it was popular and I decided to be hip and cool and get it. I didn't really like the colors, and I also didn't think the eyeshadows performed great, and so it really wasn't my favorite, and after that I just decided not to try anything. From Urban Decay just because I don't know like they never really caught my attention they have some eyeshadow powers that are very like loud and colors and everything and then all the naked ones just look meh to me so I just never cared for them but then I went to the Ulta and I saw this was on sale and I saw Nicole constantly reviewed it and she really liked it and there is a red in here and if you know me a little bit you know that I'm obsessed with colors red I love red I've been really into Christmas colors which I know because like I said, what the fuck, we're almost in February. But I love red and green and just like those crazy colors. Like, I, I don't know, I just like, I like colors so far and I've been really playing into it. And so I just, anything that has a red on it is going to call my attention. Um, other than doing like the swatches in these, I have not actually done an eye look. I have not done anything with it. Um, you can just probably see that there's like hand imprints because like I said, I've swatched them. But that's literally all I've done with it. I keep on staring at it whenever I open it and I'm just like, oh, what might as well bring a review to you guys for it you know what I mean I mean like why not so I'm gonna swatch all the colors for you guys and this is what the palette looks like I really like the fact that this is like half and half it looks very cool I don't think it's gonna stay that way I mean, if you use like a big brush or whatever it's just gonna mess up and everything's gonna become gray but hey it looks cool it's like aesthetically pleasing so we're gonna start out with the colors okay so I'm gonna swatch them this way like that this is the first row of swatches. This right here is the color Bailout. This is the color Riot. And then this right here is the color 7 and 7. So 
So as you can see, this is really, really pigmented and really pretty. These are just like transition colors. I mean, it's not like they're going to be super pigmented looking or whatever, but they look really good. This is the second row. This color right here is Relish, with, which by the way, I'm obsessed with that name. I love it. This right here is part of the two um, duo cross ones. It's called Clash. Both of these are called Clash. This is the white one. This is the black one, obviously. And then this right here is called Knockout. I suck at swatches, so please, please, like, you know. The real test is when we put it on our eyes. I'll let you guys know if it's hard to blend out or all that jazz, you know what I mean? And this is the last row of swatches. This right here is called Girl Crush. This right here is called Bankroll. And this right here is called After Hours. These are beautiful metallic looking colors. I really like it. It's cool because I think with this palette, you can honestly do a variety of looks. It has like your neutral slash transition shades that I showed you guys. So you can do kind of like a simple look with a little bit of riot over, you know, the lid and make it like a typical gold slash bronzy eye look. Or you can use the more, you know, green and like the grayish black and like the girl crush like red all over your lid so you can make it a little bit more metallic, I guess. So I really like that. I honestly really like this palette. The way it's laid out and everything, I think it's pretty cool colors that you can actually use in like different types of um, looks. I'm sorry, it's kind of like windy, but I don't want to break it either. So, those are the swatches. Again, I really am not the greatest with hand swatches and stuff like that. And most of the time, you can't really tell if the palette's going to be good because of hand swatches. It's better to just put it on your eye to see what the result is. Also, uh, with the Troublemaker Mascara, I've actually used it once. However, I didn't really pay attention on how my eyelashes looked or anything like that, so I can't really tell you if it was great. So that's what we're going to use it on today as well, because I'm going to do kind of like a wear test. I'm not doing anything <laughs> in my um, today, except for, you know, staying home and like, doing homework and stuff like that. But, oh, I was going to say where's my phone, but I'm recording with it. Um, <laughs> but once I finish doing the, uh, my base makeup and then we go on with the eyes and everything, and once we finish the whole look, I'm going to let you guys know what time it is, and I'm going to try to wear this as much as I can. Do a couple check-ins just so you guys can see how it looks. You know, the mascara and then like the actual colors and everything. So I'm going to go do my base makeup and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back. I finished my face makeup. Not completely. I mean, I still have to contour, take off the bake, yada, yada, yada. But I did them, you know, the main part. So we're going to go with the palette now. I already primed my eyes. I use, like, the same primer that I always use, which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer, eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to go in with the Bail Out, which is this color right here. I just kind of like to set my primer. And I'm going to go in with this... BH Cosmetics 101 brush from it's like from a set that I don't remember. Um, so we're gonna go in. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with the same color on my other eye. All right, and so I'm gonna go for my transition color. I'm gonna use this ABH A12 brush and I'm gonna use the color 7 and 7 which is kind of like a earthy brown I want to say kind of like a neutral not too warm not too cool and I'm gonna put that all over the lid I still really don't know what look I'm gonna go for I do think I'm gonna use the green color that's called bankroll so I might do that all over the lid. Um, I guess we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna take that color again, and there's not really that much kickback if you can see that. So that's pretty good, I guess. <clears throat> Personally, I don't mind kickback as long as it's not super fallouty under your eyes. And I don't really think I have any issues with like a palette doing that to me. Yeah, it looks more peachy on my eyes for some reason. On the pan, it looks, if you can see, slightly brownish. Uh, but it looks very peachy on my eyes. I guess it's because of that color I put on first. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that color. Seven and seven. And I'm gonna put it all over here. I like it. Not at all a brown, which is what I was expecting, but it's pretty. went in my eye. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go in with knockout all over the lid and then I'm gonna put in girl crush all over all over the lid. No, I meant I'm gonna go in knockout like on the outer corner and then I'm gonna go with girl crush all over the lid. Let's do that. So I think I'm gonna use a different brush for that. I'm gonna go in with This BH Cosmetics 103 brush just because I just want to pat it in first and then I'll blend it out. Oh wow, that is very brown. Okay. That's pigmented. I don't know if you guys could see that, but that placed a lot of color. Well, let's see if I can blend it out with this one. If not, I'll just use the other color. I mean, the other um, brush. Yeah, that's not really working for that. Like, it places it, but it doesn't blend it out. I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild brush. I don't. It doesn't have a number or anything like that, but I like this one for deepening out the outer corner. I don't know if you can see, but it's not wanting to blend from here. I don't know, maybe that was my fault because I placed that color there with that other brush. But I mean, I should be able to blend. Hmm. Try the other eye and see <clears throat> if it was maybe just my fault because I placed it. Oh, too harshly and then from there I just didn't want to blend it goes on very pigmented and then it just kind of blends away not sure that I like that color cuz you can still see the line on this one I don't like that And then on this side, it looks slightly messy, but that, you know, it's just me because I'm not amazing at blending eyeshadows. But let's see if there's any harsh lines or anything. Um, there doesn't seem to be any harsh lines on this eye. And if you can tell, but then you can see that there's like a harsh line on this one, but it's just not wanting to blend. But again, I think that's my fault because I went in with that brush and I just packed it in there and they just didn't want to move. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to use that same brush that I used to F up this side. To grab a little bit and I'm just gonna place it like right here on the lid and then from there I'm gonna try to bring it up here Ugh, this eye does not look like this eye what the hell I normally don't really have that issue with like my different like other palettes I've used to be honest I mean, it slightly looks a little off because I just suck again and then eyeshadow so like one eye always looks better than the other but I don't know why today it's like 
a lot more notorious. Was it because I packed it in or is it just the shadow that's not super great at blending? I don't know. Go back in with that wet and wild one and try to see. I'm just gonna leave it at that. If I continue blending more, it's gonna look even more messy because I'm just gonna try to do things that I know I can't control. So now, I'm gonna take um, Girl Crush and I'm gonna go all over the lid. I always use a glitter primer under my um, shimmery shades just because I feel like not only it intensifies it a bit, it always um, makes it last longer than just the regular, um, they just put in the, like the regular shadow by itself. And I don't like to wet my, I don't like to use setting spray to wet it just because I don't actually, I rarely use a brush to be able to put glitter eyeshadow, I always end up using my finger. And I don't like wetting my finger. So I, I like to just use the NYX glitter glue, so I'm going to put that, I'm going to pat that all over the eyelid. And I'm going to take that color, Girl Crush, and then I'm going to stamp it on here. really pretty it's more like a pinky um, red to be honest with you that's how that looks it's really pretty like I said it looks it's weird because all these colors in here look different when you put them on the eyes like if you see it here this is a red yeah it looks like it has some like purpley slash pinky undertones to it but on the eye it looks a lot more pink than it does like red so either I'm colorblind or these shadows just don't look the same with the pan as they look on your eyes. See, I wanted to venture out and go with like reds and stuff because I love red, but I don't think I've actually done like a red eye look in my channel, like at least not a tutorial slash whatever the fuck I call these things. But I was going to be like, okay, let's use red on the eyelid, all over the lid. This is pink. Like it's, I'm sorry that I feel like I keep on doing the same exact looks. I should have just gone with the green to be 100% honest with you to make something different. But, alas, this is what we have. Okay, so let me just go around to kind of mesh the two colors together with the same wet and wild brush that I had the darker shade on. You know, extra product, just whatever it's left over. And then this is the completed eye look. So, I don't ever put any eyeshadow under my eyes just because I have really small eyes and I wear glasses. So I feel like with my glasses and my eyeshadow, it just closes off completely my eyes so you can't really see anything. So I don't like to put it. Besides, I have really like watery slash runny eyes. So whenever I try to put anything, including like eyeliner or anything under my eyes, it just literally like I just cry. Like it's just waterfalls coming down here. And so I'm just like, I'm going to mess up my whole makeup for no reason. So I just don't do it. I don't like it. On me personally, obviously on other people it looks amazing, it just ties everything together. However, on me, it's not really a thing that I want to do, it just does not work for me. So, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup, I'm not going to show you this part because, you know, you know. So I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to come back to show you the application of the Troublemaker Mascara. And then I'm going to give you my first impressions and stuff on this one and then I'm going to do a couple check-ins to show you throughout the day how it lasts. Um, again, I did use an eyeshadow primer and I did use a glitter glue for the shimmery shade. It's just something that I do with literally every single eyeshadow that I ever use. So I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna change that and then just be like, oh my god, these wear off horribly. And just because I decided to f up my routine, you know, I know where it works for me and stuff like that. So I like to do the same thing with all the eyeshadows. So yeah. All right, guys, we're back. So I'm done with the rest of my makeup. Woo! Look at that highlight, oh my god. Whoever invented highlighting your cheeks, I mean, you know, you can highlight whatever you want, but like whoever invented highlight in general, it's just, he needs to win something because I never thought that I need needed this as much as I actually do. Okay, so all I'm doing now is putting a brow gel on my brows because I already sprayed my face with setting spray and everything. So I like to do this as like the last step. In case there's any like um powder on it or whatever so I just got a um, essence one this is the lash and brow gel mascara I'm never gonna use this on my um, eyelashes let's be 100% honest here so 
I use it for my brows. So now to finish all off, we're going to go in with the mascara. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker mascara that comes in with the Troublemaker palette, of course. Um, this one actually came in with the palette, like it's a little deluxe version. Obviously, there's a bigger version of this. And this is the mascara that a lot of people were like interested about and testing and everything because it claim it claims to be sex proof. Although I've seen reviews from like Manny MUA and other people, and they're just like, I mean, I'm not gonna have sex, but they're like, I'm gonna go out and like run or whatever and they were and they came back it was mushing everywhere so i'm pretty sure it's not waterproof so when they say sex proof i don't know what that means like are you gonna be having sex and not sweating and it will go through i don't know i don't know what the marketing point with that i mean it sold it you know everybody saw sex proof and they're just like i need to try this so hey you gotta do what you gotta do for your marketing but this is the famous mascara so i'm gonna go in and start with the uh top lashes I kind of don't like how little this wand is. And just for reference, I already have um, long lashes. So I just want something that's going to coat them and make them more vo voluminous. Not necessarily lengthening because I already have long lashes. But hey, if it does both, I mean, I don't care. Um, I exactly don't really know the claims of this mascara. Because I don't... I don't know. <laughs> All I know is it's supposed to be sex proof. This is how the wand itself looks like. It's very spiky, which honestly, I really like. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I really like that. I think it actually like separates your lashes pretty well. Now I'm on to the bottom ones to see how that performs. Because last time, the first time that I used this, I didn't use it on my bottom lashes. So I have no idea how it would like perform here. And then when I used it, I went in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and I put it on top of this one, on the um, top lashes. So like I said, that's why I wasn't really knowing. That's why I wasn't really sure of how it was going to work. But this is how it looks. Um, I haven't dipped into the thing yet, I believe. Um, no, I have not. Okay. Wow, I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, so now I'm going with the next ones. And my phone's about to die. So I'm going to try to hurry up. Ah! Almost went blind. Jesus Christ. This is why I don't like this. This is too little. If it was. I think if it was the bigger one, it would have been a lot easier. Because I like to get pretty close. But I don't know, like, how close is too close until, like, it pokes my eye out. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the lower lashes. Right. So that's how like about I believe one sorry. That's what how one coat of the mascara looks like. Um I don't love it for the bottom lashes. Oh, I don't like it on the bottom one. I don't know if you can see. You see that? It like touches No. No, 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 no. This here, I know it wasn't because I smudged it. I know I smudged a little bit here, but no. <laughs> Definitely, I do not like it for the lower lashes. It literally smudges. It smudges, like... Yeah. Um, I'm pissed off that I didn't bring my other mascara because I do not like this for the lower lashes. It just, it literally like smudges all over here. On the bottom ones, it looks fine. I mean, on the top ones, it looks fine. Like literally whatever. It's not life changing though. And I'm pretty sure this is like, what, $25? So not worth the price. I can just tell you that right now. My L'Oreal literally does the same. 
That's seven dollars. Essence does the same. That's four dollars. I mean, it looks good. It definitely lengthens them and it curls them a little bit because I don't actually curl my lashes. So it looks nice. But on the bottom ones, oh my god, no. It just looks like I've been crying three hours. It's smudging all over the lower lash line and I do not like that. God. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it on the lower. I don't like this for the lower lash line. Definitely not. I'm gonna try to intensify that highlighter one more time. Is it just me or does this light side need more highlight? I'm using the um, Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold, by the way, in case you're interested. I don't know. I feel like this highlighter is not as good as like the Milani ones. I am obsessed with those. Like you could see in my last video, that's when that's the one that I was using, and you can literally like see how intense and beautiful that one is this one's good i mean it's not horrible but it's by no means my new favorite like i said i definitely prefer the milani ones over this one <sighs> okay so that is the finished look um now i'm just gonna go in with like my lip stuff and whatever but i'm gonna do up that off camera and then i'm gonna come back to do like a couple check-ins right off the bat i can tell you i do not like that troublemaker mascara i do not think it's worth the price to be 100% honest with you, like I said, it looks beautiful on the top lashes, but yet, yeah, so does the L'Oreal Paradise, Lash Paradise, and so does the Essence one, I think the Voluminous something, like the purple tube, the Tati loves, that one. So, yeah, and then on the lower lashes, it literally smudges. I know this one is like, I almost poked my eye out, so like, I get it. But this one, I had no issues, and then when I looked at it closed, you could see that it was smudging on the bottom. That's a big no-no for me. I hate how that looks. I do not, no, just no. L'Oreal and Essence do not do that. And even like the other high-end ones probably don't do that. I just, I don't know. I love mascara, but mascara is one of those things that I know that I can find something inexpensive at the drugstore that I'm gonna love. So I do not see myself like splurging about 25 to $30 in a mascara. Like, like I said, I know there's gonna be good ones at the drugstore, might as well go for those, you know? So yeah. I prefer those other two better than the, this one. I'm actually gonna go in and try to put some of the uh, Lash Paradise on the bottom lashes because I took it all off because I was putting, trying to take off all the smudges. <sighs> no. Mascara is a big pass for me. I'm sorry, not a fan. Uh, the eyeshadow, I so far, first impressions, I really do like it. I think it's pretty. Um, the brown one called Knockout, I had a little bit of trouble trying to blend that, but that might have just been me because, again, you know, I have issues. But... It looks really pretty. I like the I like that the shimmer shade is not really much of a shimmer. It's more of like a metallic. So it looks really, really pretty. It definitely blends in with the rest of the colors. I like it. I think the eye look looks really nice. So I'm gonna go in with these two on my lips today. And then I'm gonna do a check-in to show you guys how everything looks. And I need to go charge my phone because it's about to die. So see y'all later. Updates for you guys. It's been about two hours and, um, and a half. I put on the mascara and the eyeshadow. I know the lighting is like horrible. It's nighttime already. But this is how everything looks so far. Um, the eyeshadow is still on put. The mascara. Let me see, because I honestly cannot tell. Okay, so it looks whatever, to be 100% honest with you. Um, there's somebody looking at me right now, so. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Um, somebody was looking at me when I was recording, and I get really uncomfortable when that happens, so I just. I just shut the camera down, but um, I'm in a different parking lot now. The lighting is still horrible, so I'm, I apologize for that. Um, but you can't really see anything with this lighting. I mean, the eyeshadow is still going on good, to be 100% honest with you. I personally really like it. Like I said before, I think there's a, a couple looks you can do with this um, palette that are really, really nice. The, you know, the quality is pretty good. That brown color, the knockout, I believe is what it was called did not blend amazingly but again that could have you know might have just been me that i suck um and the way that i packed it in and this eye was a little just too strong and i just didn't want to blend out so it might have just been me 
you be the judge of that um but other than that i think the palette is honestly pretty good especially if it's still on sale for 19 dollars. it definitely is a good sale um definitely go grab that since you know urban decay is a higher end brand their eyeshadow palettes retail from 30 dollars up so to be able to get this one that has like 10 um colors for 19 dollars, i think it's pretty pretty good the mascara you know it's not doing horribly as like the first application but I still don't like it. Um, to be honest with you, there's a lot, like I said, you know, there's better drugstore mascaras that you can get at the, uh, the drugstore that are 10 times better than this and definitely like half the price. So not so, not impressed with that one. The eyeshadow is pretty good. I do like it. I think it's pigmented enough. I like my eye look today. I, looked, I, 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 I do like the way that it looks. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely continue using it. And I think it's a pretty good palette. So I get it. I give it a thumbs up, especially for $19. If it was the re normal retail price, which I believe is $32, definitely not worth it to be 100% with you unless you do like Urban Decay eyeshadows and you know it's something I it's not a horrible palette it's just for the price I wouldn't pay $32 for it however I did get it on sale I got it for 24 I believe is now $19 like I said so if it's for 19 still available girl get it it's you know pretty good I think you won't be disappointed you'll definitely like it the pigmented the eyeshadows are pigmented everything's pretty good but yeah, this is the final check-in just because I don't think there's anything else that I need to show you. It's been four hours since um, application. Everything still looks good. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you like my content. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you do like my content. Um, and go down and comment anything you want in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Bye!